thinking about hitting the road this morning, brace yourself for some heavy traffic this Memorial Day weekend, along with some pain at the pump. Those gas prices higher this year. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman live at the Vince Lombardi service area with the latest on this big travel day. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning, Shirley. And yeah, gas prices are higher than last year, but they have dropped a little bit from weeks ago, just in time for this big holiday travel weekend. Record breaking, in fact. You are here along the New Jersey Turnpike right now, where the average uh, price for a gallon of gas is 363. Uh, but there's not one here really just yet. It is a little bit early, but I'm sure we'll start to see people picking up soon as they try to get out early to avoid the traffic. Let's take a live look right now, though, from the George Washington Bridge, where we did just hear from Heather there is an accident going on, uh, so that's not going to be a great more start. If that's your route on your road trip this morning, it's going to be a bit of a slow go for you there. But the Port Authority does predict that nearly 4.2 million people will use its bridges and tunnels over this holiday period, which started yesterday and ends Tuesday. The worst times to hit the road, let's talk about that if you are trying to make your plans this morning. That'll be starting at noon today until 7 p.m. because you're going to be mixing with people who are just commuting home from work as well. The best time to drive before 11 a.m. So if you're watching now, maybe you're going to want to get out early if you have that option or after 8 p.m. if you uh, don't mind being driving when it's dark out. And let's also talk about gas prices. As I mentioned, the national average is 361 a gallon in New York, though. It's a little higher as we usually see at 368 New Jersey, a little lower 351 per gallon of regular and then in Connecticut higher again at 367. So again, it's overall down compared to last week, but higher than this time last year. Now, nationwide AAA is predicting road trippers will exceed pre-pandemic levels for the first time, so that's a pretty big deal. So we will see if people take that advice, heed that warning, and leave a little bit earlier, perhaps if they can get out of work on time. Live in